Oris applies the evolution not revolution strategy to its emblematic acquis and refines it in the subtlest way imaginable. The Aquis is one of Oris' cornerstone collections and has been around since 2011. And it's well known as a robust, contemporary and rather capable dive watch, usually with a depth rating of 300 meters or more. Throughout its lifespan, the Aquis has been presented in a wide range of variations, including the very clever depth gauge, this one, arguably one of the standout models in the collection. Other than that, you have tons of choice for dial colors or even one made of upcycled PET bottles, and you can also opt for a movement that has been developed in-house. The performance-oriented Aquise was updated in 2017 with touch-ups on the case, the bezel, the bracelet and the dial. And in 2020, Oris introduced its powerful Caliber 400 to the collection, which has since coexisted with the Celita-based Caliber 733 automatic. And now, in 2024, Oris has reworked its modern-day icon once again and adds even more refinement. Although the changes are subtle and might need a second look for those with an untrained eye, here's everything that sets the new Aquis apart from the old Aquis. Let's start with the case, which still comes in three sizes but has been slimmed down just a touch. The 36.5mm size tops out at 12.20, the 41.5mm diameter has a height of 12.90mm and the largest of the three comes in at 435 across and 13.1mm of thickness. That means the thickness of each case has been reduced by about half a millimeter and even though that difference is quite small, it's a difference nonetheless. The case also has reworked lugs for a more compact and ergonomic look and feel and on top of that the bezel and its ceramic insert have been reproportioned. Also the signature crown guard is now more tapered for a more slender profile and final touches on the case are details such as a more pronounced bevel on the case back. Moving to the dial, Oris has slightly reworked the shape of the shield-like hour markers and the alpha hands have also been updated with a sharper outline and a reshaped Superluminova insert. Furthermore, the font on the dial has been renewed and regardless of the movement inside, there's less text on the dial, which is always good because it balances everything out. Also, while it was done in some instances in the past, the date wheel will now always be color matched to the dial. Another key area where Oris has made some changes is the bracelet. The brush center links are now broader and the taper from the case to the clasp is stronger, slightly reducing the visual bulk of the watch. The only downside perhaps? Not making the patented quick change strap system and the patented quick adjust folding clasp available across the entire collection. That's exclusive to the 43.5mm sized flagship model with the Caliber 400 movement inside. This range-topping model also gets a slightly different class with a broader bevel and recessed pushers. Coming back to the Caliber 400, this powerful and modern automatic movement was developed in-house and delivers a sturdy 120-hour or 5-day power reserve. Now that's a very substantial leap in the running time over the 38 hours of the Celita-based Caliber 733 that's also available in the largest of the three new Aquis models. Then, Stepping down a size, there's the mid-size 41.5mm Aquis, as well as the compact 36.5mm Aquis, both equipped with the, as mentioned, Caliber 733 automatic. The smallest of the three has a different bezel insert and either a black dial or a beige mother of pearl one. Prices for the new Oris Aquis range from €2,200 for the small or mid-size models, with the Celita base Caliber 733 inside, to 3,750 euros for the 43.5 mm size with the Caliber 400 movement, a steel bracelet and the upcycle dial. Now, all of this seems like only small steps, but in our book this is a very positive move. In essence, it's similar to what Rolex does, making a watch better by implementing small updates at a time. From every angle, the DNA of the Oris Aquis is still very much intact. To us, Oris has done something very smart here, but what matters is, what do you make of these incremental changes? Are they for the better, or maybe not? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you've enjoyed it. And as ever, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.